That's crazy. Me remember remember when I used to wear that Freddy Frostbear skin and I used that as my identity and now I use this skin because I don't really have a skin. Please somebody make a player model with me. Please, 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 please. How's it going everybody? It is me, FNAF Alien 812. <laughs> Today we're gonna be reviewing this beautiful map right here, the Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach Lobby map. But wait, haven't you two reviewed this before? Hold up, I have to look back on my old videos. So, I have come up with my professional opinion. I have not reviewed this map. I thought I reviewed the original one, uh, because this one is 1.5. Is, is it 1.5? So, the original map was 1. That, that was just version 1. But this is version 1.5. So, I have no memory, no, I feel like I did review this map. Or, did, did I review this map and I had a video and then I just never really released it because I said some inappropriate stuff? I, I guess so, I don't know, I have no memory. But without further ado, let's go review this map. But before we review, make sure you go sub and like. And make sure you comment down below what was your favorite part of this video. Why? I, I don't know why would you comment what was your favorite part of this video. I have no idea. But, um, also join the members ships and discord and um follow me on x or twitter as elon musk calls it because you know elon musk once said money, money. i always say that because there was like a meme of like elon musk he was like um i don't know i don't remember what he said he was like look money but without further ado let's go review this 1.5 version of this map so yeah it's pretty cool i like this map it's pretty cool i like it oh oh um uh i i oh um I guess we have to address the issue here. So this map is basically detailed from the pizza pizza plex lobby right here. If you remember from the original game, I think. But um, I do want to point out some keen details about this map. Um, it's pretty small. I mean, no, <laughs> I meant to say we're pretty small, but it's kind of big. So um, and you can kind of phase through stuff. So uh, yeah, that's one of the issues about this map that you can actually phase through this map. Oh look, I'm swimming. But you know what? It's just the fountain. The fountain usually has its own problems. Usually the stairs don't have their own pro- <sighs> So yes, I was not lying. Everything on this map does um, collide with everything. So even these little things right here, even this generator, even this dumpster right here, everything just keeps on collisioning with this map. I, I don't know why it, it just happens. This is, this is one of the issues about this map. Uh, this is the Freddy Fazbear thingy. Uh, let me just hold on. Let me just make sure. Oh wow, we can't even go through the statue. That is, that is truly lovely right there. That is lovely. So if I was giving my honest opinion about this map, this map is so beautiful, but I would not recommend doing any role plays, any like, any like meet and greets with friends or uh, meet and greets, any like fun stuff with your friends or whatnot. This place is more of like a like a li like a little bit of like a like a little bit of like a screenshot to say it's it's a little bit like one of those where you have to screenshot for like a thumbnail and you use this place. You're like, oh, I have a security breach video, but I don't have a good looking position. Oh wait, look at this map. This map looks pretty cool. And then boom, you have a screenshot right there. So yeah, it's pretty much that. It's not really a map for role playing since again you do collision. And, and you do have a bunch of colliding stuff but it is a pretty cool map i do like it also like we said the, the keen detail everything is freaking ginormous which i'm not gonna lie Ooh, can we go through the elevator oh we face through this but can i go through the pretty fast beers is officially shutting down i'm suing this place but I do like that you can walk around upstairs to the second floor. So even though you can't go to the second floor, uh, well, would this be the second floor? Eh, not really, but eh, you, know, you can still walk on it, which is pretty cool. But you can, um, you can walk on this, like, like I said, and you can also walk on this right here, which you can walk on the second floor. So that's pretty cool, but you can't use the stairs or else you, uh, you, um, face through it like this, which is pretty bad. So yeah, there is some cool stuff about this map. Can you face through? Oh, wow. You can even face through the glass. And yes, even when you're on the elevator path right here you also face through this area right here which is pretty cool but it does have some little cool glowing stuff right here where it turns from purple to blue that's pretty cool and we also have the blinking lights and uh well there's no second floor to this elevator actually there's no even there's no daycare center over here so that's uh that's pretty unfortunate right here but we do have glam rock gifts uh but the whole area here is, is it's pretty much empty uh i think there's supposed to be something over here i have no idea but we do have this little uh little exit 
the thingy right here where i'm assuming you can't oh you can't face through the stuff over here uh, and you can also walk through here but uh oh you can also go on these stairs so we do have little stairs where you don't face through so that's actually pretty cool and we also have a bottom downstairs of glam rock gifts so that's pretty cool uh but like i said it's it's empty over here and we do have the little fast pad over here which is super duper cool like i said you can also um face through these objects right here so there's chairs the seats and all of that stuff right here but you can also go up here and also do some cool stuff here but uh then again you also face through the little pool table over here which is it does actually look pretty cool and there's really no kitchen area over here there's no downstairs area over here we also have the little downstairs for the fast pad where you just see oh look glam rock glam rock chica glam rock foxy rock did i say foxy i meant to say freddy uh roxy and monty that's pretty cool oh look different man every hour oh glam rock chica forgot i didn't mean to do that my b so we have this little area right here i'm missing a texture right here we also don't have a little um staircase where you go from the kitchen to down here but we do have little uh officer vanessa's little hitty hidey hole over here when she captures you i mean vanny my bad <laughs> gotta keep it a secret so vanny she captures you she puts you in here and then you find a way to escape and then blah 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 i think you can go through here no oh yeah uh, yeah the vents are, are very very big so you can easily fit through here it's pretty big we also have a little counter over here where you can go through the back area over here but the uh, counter is also big and also too besides here you also have the little counter right over here but we don't have this little locker area if you remember from the game we don't really have it so we can't really go through here so uh can't really go through there so yeah so yeah that's basically it oh my gosh how could i forget the parking area the beautiful parking area itself uh i forgot about this i'm so sorry buddy i don't think you can face through oh never mind you can't face through this but it's pretty cool i like the parking area and we also have this little cutout right here with roxy glamrock freddy monty and glamrock chica where we can also get the gift from the beginning of the game well be beginning of the game i guess you could call it the beginning of the game and we also have this door area right over here but we also don't have another area right here because also this map is the pizza plex lobby so it's mostly dedicated to the pizza plex lobby so yeah and we also have the front entrance right here where it says come back soon where you have the neon lights of glamrock chica glamrock i mean glamrock freddy monty and roxy and we also have the little freddy fazbear who is winking at you when gregory is like going there and it's like closing on your thing it's like hey wait <laughs> Oh, you can also go through here, too. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, you can also go through here, too. Uh, you can go through here, which is pretty cool, but I don't think you can go through here. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't go through this area right here, which, which is it's pretty cool. You don't have to go through this area right here unless you want a V-clip. That's basically it. But, yeah, you can also go through the front entrance right there. So, I guess Gregly, Gre Gregly, Gregory could have just phased through here, and he could have went back to his... Well, I don't know if he's home. What the heck? So yeah, this map is pretty cool. I like this map. It's better than the, the original one where I remember it, but you guys don't remember it because I don't think I reviewed it before in the beginning. But I definitely remember version one. The key detail is um, <laughs> the things are just bigger than me. I don't think these were bigger than me. Well, I mean, we were playing as Gregory, so I think stuff was kind of big. But um, for us, it's... it's uh too big and anyway that's what i want to say about this map. oh one more thing i for before i forget to mention so with this map right here we have a little ceiling right here that's pretty cool <laughs> you can stalk people here <laughs> ouch so a keen detail that I want to tell you is you don't have to subscribe to the original map. You don't have to, but you do have to subscribe to the textures of the original map. So if you have the original map of textures, you just have to subscribe to that. And then that's basically it. You don't basically have to subscribe to the original map. I subscribe to the textures of the original map. So yeah, all you have to do is just get the textures of the original map and then boom, you just got these textures because if once you pop in here without downloading the original textures from version one uh you're basically gonna get a bunch of errors so yeah that's that's basically it well hopefully you guys enjoyed this map make sure you smiggity smack that like what the oh no it's a model review slash uh, map review oh no so yes we also have a bunch of models to review right here so uh there's gonna be a bunch of bunch there's just gonna be a bunch of models to end from here to oh no from there to here oh my gosh that's gonna be like an hour long video guys hopefully you get some popcorn guys it's gonna be a long one so first up of this weekend fnaf porting week yes it was called uh, like uh, like 
FNAF porting week or something like that. I don't know. Even though it's like a month. By the time I post this video, it's probably gonna be around like July. But I know, I know, I reviewed this around June because it's like June 29th for me. So yeah. So first up, we have Ghost version three. So wait, didn't we already have a Ghost? Yes, we had Ghost version two. The detail of this one is. Oh wait, that's the same Ghost. What am I doing? So this is Ghost version two, but this one is Ghost version three. So the key detail between these two is, um, well this Ghost has more of a brighter light to it while this one just has a regular white to it but it's not as shiny but it's still kind of shiny it kind of is and that one's eyes are tears i think those are black tears those black tears are a little bit different while these are also a little bit they're a little bit more smudge and those are look a little bit more straight ahead and um the difference is this one can remove its eyes and this one can remove its eyelids and um the difference is with this one is uh he doesn't really have those phantom eyes but he does have regular good old eyes but also too with this uh goes version three right over here he does have some good models what so ghost version 3 does have some skins well one skin where he turns black but the tears are white so yeah but he also does have some body groups where he, or it's i can't misgender it i forgot to go so it's 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 basically it doesn't have a gender when it's dead but with this ghost you can talk with its eyes by taking it away or also putting it back on but with the hair it actually has hair so it has gabriel hair and it has jeremy here and it also has susie hair uh, here <laughs> and it also has fritz hair and it also has cassidy hair so if you don't know this is actually a reference to all of the five kids uh, five kids right yeah five kids that have been killed by the big william after himself so we have cassidy who would be golden freddy we have gabriel who would be freddy we have jeremy who would be i think bonnie susie who would be chica and fritz who would be foxy so F fritz's hair looks a little bit weird so gabriel's hair looks like a dashing young fella right there that's pretty beautiful right eh? Jeremy's hair just has that little uh, spiky fuzz right there on the top of his head. And Susie's hair is just, well, it just looks like a girl. But it, the key detail is it has a little bow tie on her head. So, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cute and cool right there. I, I can't say cute. I'm a boy. And also Fritz, well, like I said, his hair looks completely weird. But also of Cassidy, she also has her little bu little um, golden buns right there buns her little um whatever you call those scrunchies i think you called them for her little ponytails which is actually pretty cool oh yeah that's pretty cool oh yeah but if you don't want to have the missing children have their hair or just want them to go bald but we gotta make that hair go bald right there so yeah that's pretty cool he's a pretty cool character uh i do want to say one thing hold on let me just go to my little sub material too so do i want to prove one thing so um let's do this screen screen so you can't make them uh oh well i was I was gonna say you can actually you can actually make them glow but the thing is it takes away their tears so uh you can kind of make it glow but you're gonna have the risk of taking away the taking away the tears so yeah that's pretty sad right there and then we also have the little shade list and also with the negative it's called ghost negative so yeah with the ghost negative is the same thing as before you, you yeah you're gonna have to take away the tears so yeah but i like ghost version 3 i think i like ghost version 3 a little bit better because the hair i think the hair is a little bit more cooler I think the hair makes the ghost look a little bit more cooler, which I actually liked about that. It, that actually makes it look cool. Next up, we have an improved Mexis. So, um... I'm not gonna lie, I don't see a, a difference with this one. Okay, so I do see a difference with this one. So I took the one from the Blake Bobs. Yes, his name is not Blake Blobs, but still. I took one out and I saw a difference with this one. So this one has electricity and this one is a little bit more, uh, more darker. And I also took the one, and I also took a player model from the beautiful Ink Man. Hope he becomes my friend. Uh, I took a model from him and I also seen another difference. So the difference is this one is a little bit more darker um, and that one is a little bit more brighter uh, a brighter blue like like a bright blue if you want to say a bright blue i guess this i guess that's what i want to say i don't know so what this one is the electricity or the little um particles the little glitch particles that he has right there it's a little bit different while this one looks a little bit more lightning like but this one has a little bit more um particles to it which actually looks a little bit cooler on this one i'm not gonna lie so yeah i i see the difference with it the outer the outer blue on it it actually does make it look a little bit more 
or better so i actually see the difference with this at mexis model so this mexis model actually does look cool i don't know if originally in ruin i don't know if he looked a little bit more bl darker and blue a little bit more dark blue i don't remember exactly but i do know he looks a little bit cool i like the little uh, lightning particles that he are what, what do you what would you even call this like glitchy particles i guess i don't know because he's not really a glitch but i don't know I don't know, I guess these particles right here, it looks pretty cool on him. So he looks pretty cool, I like that. He doesn't really have any body groups, but he does look pretty cool. So yeah, I do like this guy. Uh, his ears don't uh, move. His his ears don't move. Uh, at least, yeah, they don't move. His, uh, okay, well, he just fell down. So next up, we have a stylized version of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Bonnie's guitar. No Foxy in this bag. So I do want to say one key little detail. They remind me of those animatronics where they hide the robotic parts. I mean, you can still kind of see it a little bit with the hand right there, but they kind of remind me of those animatronics where you have to um, hide the little, um, what is it? The, uh, the little endoskeleton parts from them. Uh, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese. Like Chuck E. Cheese, exactly. They remind me of like Chuck E. Cheese robots, where, uh, robots, animatronics, where they had to hide the robotic parts from them. So that way they actually look like they're animals. So that actually, that actually does look cool right there. I don't know if it's supposed to have a keen detail like that, like like a Chuck E. Cheese vibe right there. I don't know, but I do know it just reminds me of that. So that's pretty cool. So we have Freddy Fazbear right here with his little guitar. He doesn't really have any, you can barely see his endoskeleton parts. So that's pretty cool, uh, but you can kind of see his endoskeleton parts right there. Ooh, look at that neck game right there. So we have Freddy's um, microphone right here, which looks pretty cool. And also a fun little fact, Freddy's hat actually does move. So if you, um, if if you see right here freddy's hat actually does move i think his ears also yeah his ears also do move all of their ears do move like bonnie's right here i like bonnie's ears moving a little bit better because um i i think it does it do like a little back and forth yeah yeah it does a little back and forth but the top ears right here just does a little like stiffy right there so that's pretty cool i like that so you can just move the ears like um up and down like that so that's actually pretty cool and uh bonnie does look pretty goofy i'm not gonna lie he actually does look like goofy i'm not gonna lie bonnie does look goofy does look like goofy right there and chica i don't think you can uh can you shake chica's hair oh you can shake chica's hair okay so you can move her um hair that's pretty cool so i like that so you can move chica's hair so that's pretty cool i like that i like that it's pretty cool of chica also with bonnie's guitar it's its own rag doll so um it does it did have a little strap on it did i just take it away uh, yeah, it has a little strap, so you can actually move it around like this. I don't know if we can actually put it on, um, Bonnie. Let me see. Can we put it? <gasps> we can put it on Bonnie. Oh, oh, barely. Okay. Well, I was going to say we can put it on Bonnie, but barely. So, yeah. So, it is a, its own rag, though, so that's pretty cool. You can also see the little straps right there. So, you can see the strap right there. And then you can see the strap on the bottom right there, which is actually pretty dope. So, I want to say Bonnie and Chica don't have body groups, but Freddy does have some body groups. He can actually, you can actually take away his microphone. And he does have a skin where you can um, take his little hat and turn it into a red stripe right there. It reminds me of, I guess, Toy Freddy. I guess if I want to say Toy Freddy right there. Oh, wow. Okay, so I wanted to see what would happen if I took their um, suits off um, with the Invisible 2. Um, th Freddy doesn't really have much. Actually, all of them don't have that much. So, yeah, it's more of like a like a head, like an endoskeleton head, where it sh mostly shows the endoskeleton head and the neck. That's it, which is actually pretty cool because um, you, <laughs> I know you wouldn't really expect to see uh, the endoskeleton right there, but it's just pretty cool to see that they're actually hidden. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a little keen detail right there. You don't really expect to see the um, the um, endoskeleton once you take off their um, once you make the suits invisible. So, that's pretty cool. So, next up, a very stylized, creepy animation from FNAF 4 it's stylized puppet oh that's creepy so I wanted to do a quick I wanted to do a quick comparison to these two right here and this one just beats this nightmare on more creepily oh my gosh this nightmare on doesn't even look that creepy but when I look at this one it oh my gosh it's just it's just ew, brother, ew. I also want to point out that this stylized Nightmare On's fingers are so long, it is creepy. While comparing to this Nightmare On's fingers, it's not as it's not as long. It actually this Nightmare On beats that Nightmare On creepily. It, that is creepy. Oh my gosh! And another fact that I want to prove out is this is like blood tears. You can see a little bit of black, but that is blood tears. I, I'm assuming that's blood tears. Could be red tears, which symbolizes blood that is blood tears right there 
And speaking of blood, look at the bloody mouth and teeth. Oh my gosh. Nightmareon doesn't even have that much teeth. He doesn't even have like an inside mouth. Oh my gosh. Ew, this one is just creepy. Oh, look at those sets of teeth he has. Oh my gosh, that's weird. Oh, this oh that's pretty weird. I oh this guy creeps me out the most. He also does have some body groups where you can take away the mat. Oh, you can take away the mouth and the endoskeleton that is oh that is creepy oh yeah oh yeah oh no that just made it a little bit more worse even without the blood stuff right there that that's just darkness right there yeah this stylized nightmare on beats the creepy the, it just beats everything that is creepy it, it this thing is just creepy it what it, it's just creepy next up we have stylized spring but well actually you know this is actually help wanted spring bonnie technically I also wanted to point. I also wanted to point out that we also reviewed this Spring Bonnie right here, which this is the same Spring Bonnie. So if you don't know, this is actually Help Wanted Spring Bonnie. But wait, you're like, wait, Help Wanted Spring Bonnie, but we never got Spring Bonnie. Are you talking about Glitch Trap? Well, technically, I think I said this to before when we were reviewing that guy. But technically, this one right here was in the files, and I think there was a bunch of animations about him too, supposed to be in the game. But I think they scrapped that idea and they just added in Glitch Trap. So this is basically what we were gonna get before glitch trap so we were gonna get this guy right here he reminds me of like a spring bonnie from like an actual fred bears but like it, it used to be like a like a suit not not it didn't have like an endoskeleton in it. it just reminds me of like a regular suit that's what it reminds me of same same here with this guy a little bit but get out of here little buddy it's not your review review video it's this guy's review video right here he also has some really long ears which is pretty cool i like this model right here he's pretty cool looking we've seen a bunch well i see I say we've seen a bunch when we saw like the other one, but we've seen this Spring Bonnie and the other Spring Bonnie. This one just looks a little bit more stylized. That's why I'm saying he looks a little bit more stylized than the other Spring Bonnie. But yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. So this help wanted Spring Bonnie right here. I like this one. He also does. Oh, oh, never mind. He doesn't have any body groups. My bad. Next sub. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna say this. This is False Rabbit. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick comparison. I don't know if this. Nightmare on and that buddy right over there are more creepier. I think that Nightmare on is still creepier. Well, this guy is creepy, but he's not as totally creepy. I don't know. But um I don't know if this is supposed to be into the pit because he kind of gives me a feeling of like into the pit for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because of the little flesh that he has right there. Like it's yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. It is creepy. So there's little flesh in here. I think he's supposed to be like a like a stylized version, right? Or like a stylized slash nightmare version of into the pit the into the pit bunny right here. So yeah, he is pretty creepy. Pretty tall and pretty pretty nightmare looking oh my gosh uh his ears do move which is actually pretty cool so i like that yeah his ears do really cool they move really coolly so i like that uh he's just creepy i i know this guy beats the creepiness right there but he's just a little he's second place to creepy he's so creepy so yeah i guess this is into the pit spring bonnie but he's like more stylish more nightmarish more like an actual realistic version of him in real life so yeah um he's pretty cool i like the little purple that he has right there it's like a little um like a little purple um suit to say i guess you can say it like that there's no really flesh right there it's just like the purple right there and then the flesh you can see with the eyes right there so that's pretty cool i like this guy he's pretty cool um he also does have like a little bit of a realistic bunny um stance him because if you don't know but bunnies do actually have like a little stance like that with the back of their feet so yeah that, that, that's actually a really cool detail right there he also does have some body groups where he can take away his body <laughs> where he's just the eyes it's just an eye the eyes oh my gosh but if you want the eye if you want the body back but if you don't want the eyes that's basically it you can just it, oh gosh that's creepy that's actually creepy oh it's just it's just darkness that's all it is it's just darkness oh overall he's pretty cool i do like him he's really really cool really nightmare looking oh my gosh look at those teeth those are very bloody teeth he also has some little whiskers which is actually really cool they're kind of curled they're kind of curled up like a little like cartoon villain i'm not gonna lie but he's pretty cool but next up we do have another oh my gosh this is, this is gonna take a while 
So these are the FNAF 2 um, stylized versions. That's that's basically it. But we're going to start off with the toys and then the withered. So yeah. So first off, we have Toy Freddy over here. He's pretty gosh darn diddly cool. I like Toy Freddy. He's a, he's a fun looking dude. Look at him. He's so cool. He's stylized. You can kind of see the paint off of him so he has like a little gray um thingy right there on his like upper um what do you call those collar 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 thingies right there i don't know so you can see the little um the little gray right there so like the the paint is coming off if you want to say it like that which is actually pretty dope i do like this this is it's actually really stylized and keen detailed right there yeah look at toy freddy like he has mostly his paint is almost gone like his paint is almost completely gone which is crazy so all around his joints it's it's almost gone like he's basically just gonna turn into like a gray toy freddy right here that's pretty cool uh he doesn't have any body okay never mind he does have some body groups where you can make him have some endo eyes or you can just give him no eyes so yeah i like the little endoskeleton he has right there does he have an endoskeleton yeah he has a little endoskeleton which is actually really cool i like that that's actually a really cool detail right there also um his ears do move i think his hat also move no his hat doesn't move so yeah his hat doesn't really move which is pretty cool uh his mask you can also take away the mask you can take away the hat and you can also take away the bow tie so you can basically just have an endoskeleton with just a toy fat bear body right there so yeah does he have a little endoskeleton right there in his body i no 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 he doesn't okay well yeah, i feel bad for toy freddy i i murdered him next up toy bonnie so um hold on and then we also have toy chica right here so i do want to do a quick comparison right here so toy chica when we look at toy chica she does look a little bit like her paint is coming off but not as much while with toy bonnie you can barely see some of his paint coming off i mean it's still coming off but it's barely coming off he just looks a little bit more dirty that's it like the joints right there he just looks more dirty and rusted a little bit oh my gosh well compared to toy freddy he just his paint of color is like completely almost gone oh my gosh so yeah with toy chica she does look pretty cool too she also does have her little joints right there oh uh, she does look a little bit more she her her bottom half does look a little bit more cleaner while her upper top half does look like she's losing a little bit of her paint especially with her beak right there you can see her beak is, a, is losing a little bit of paint right there so yeah with toy bonnie doesn't really look like he's losing that much paint so yeah with toy bonnie he does have some body groups where you can um give him some scary eyes where his eyes are like <laughs> or if not the scary pupil eyes you can just take away his eyes you can also take away his mask you can also take away his ears his bow tie and also his tail hold up before we take away his tail look at his tail right here yeah look at his beautiful tail right there you can also move that tail can, can you move the tail yeah uh, yeah you can move the tail a little bit so yeah it does look cool but let's take away that tail and let's see what it looks like and a boom it is gone now toy chica she does look a little bit more creepier when she's look when she looks like this i'm not gonna lie she looks a little bit more creepier oh my gosh that's pretty creepy of her i'm not gonna lie but she does have some body groups where you can make her have her endo eyes and then um you can also take away her beak and also take away her mask but let's put on that, that mask so that way she looks like she's in her scary mode oh that's pretty cool right there oh that's pretty cool like there i like that or you can also just take away her eyes right there but yeah let's just put back on her oh my gosh that is, that is truly creepy right there what did i just say go neck up we got puppy so puppy right here is actually an interesting character so she actually has her little vest um well what am i saying she has a vest that is interesting she has a little vest right there that is actually really cute right there i like that she also has very 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 long fingers look look at those fingers right there compared to um the nightmare on the stylized version that one kind of has really long fingers i'm not gonna lie that is really long fingers right there she also does have her little um feet right there which is really numb right there i just like her little vest that's actually really cool i like that so she also has her little eyes right there now look at her eyes her eyes look very cool they look like actual puppet eyes but if we actually put on her um covering it actually makes her look like she actually has her little um glow effect eyes if you want to say it like that so yeah well let's take those off she also does have some skins where you can just take away the little eyes right there also um make her look like from back then where she had the green eyes from like fred bears to say like the fred bear days where she actually had her her um her, her rosy cheeks her smile and then and uh well actually i don't know if puppet was a boy back then oh my gosh
Also, we have the little green right there on the puppet right there, but if I put on like the covering to say, yeah, it just looks like glowing eyes right there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we also have the um, no eyes right there. And we also have the little um, dirty version right there where puppet actually, hold on, I want to go back to the puppet right there. Okay, so we have the little puppet version that is dirty. So if you don't know, this is like kind of the effects after the puppet follows Charlie. Is it, yeah, Charlie into the, uh, is it Charlie? I don't remember. I think it was Charlie. I don't know, I don't remember charlie into the alleyway and then she goes outside and then well this puppet right here follows her outside and the puppet is just like slowly de decaying and then it just has the little tears right there so yeah that's pretty cool looking right there that's a really cool reservation right there and then we also have the no eyes and then we also have the oh yeah we also have the phantom version right here so this is basically phantom this is just a stylized phantom puppet right here that's basically it so you have the little phantomness right there that looks pretty cool what if i put on the covering um yeah it just looks like glowing eyes right there and then with the other skin right there you just take away the eyes so yeah that's actually really cool right there that's actually a really cool detail right there to r put out there now then on to the withered so we have withered freddy withered bonnie withered chica and withered foxy and withered um i think that's golden freddy but he has the weird little top eye right there which we'll get into so we have withered freddy over right over here so what did freddy actually is interesting so I, I did want to point out that his eye actually has a little hole but it does have the little um eye glow inside so uh with if you don't know with what did freddy and one of the cameras he would actually have a, a can a, one of his eyes glow but it wouldn't look like this it would just completely look like a glow effect on his eye but i like this stylized what did freddy a little bit better because his eye is actually inside the eye glow is actually inside while there's actually a little um a little out circuit because he is supposed to be black he has like a what would you call it like a black pupil i guess you would call it like a black pupil or is it the iris i don't remember what exactly it is called but i do know on this left no his is that's his left eye so on his left eye is actually more black but on his right eye you it's just a hole and you can actually see the little glow effect right there which is actually really cool i like that effect that is actually really cool that's actually a really interesting detail right there Riddard witted freddy honestly looks cool i like him and also his top head does actually move so you can actually move it around like wiggly waggly oh, oh sorry bonnie i didn't mean to do that so you can move his top head if you want to so left and right so that's pretty cool his joints do look pretty cool he just looks like a regular Wither freddy plus the i mean well if you just add in a little bit of the eye, the eye right there which actually does look cool when he has a little glowing eye right there that's actually really cool i like that as that, that is dope that is dope he does also have some body groups where you can take away the suit the suit the the suit eyes the suit torso the arms and stuff like that which actually that looks pretty dope and then the suit lures and then you can also take away the endoskeleton head if you want to but let's just put that back on yeah that looks really cool i like that oh my gosh look at that oh that looks cool also you can see a little speaker right there so yeah there's a little speaker oh that is interesting details right there these are the details that you actually miss out oh i like this this is actually really dope so next up we have Wither Bonnie over here. He is really interesting and really cool. I like this Wither Bonnie. So we also have his little arm. Look at his arm. It, it, it's just gone. It's just completely gone. It, it's just gone. It's just gone. It, it's just it's just completely gone. Well, I wouldn't say completely gone because he has his little um wire thing right there for his upper arm, which is actually really interesting because his his arm is usually just all wires and that's it. But it's actually a really interesting detail that he has some of his upper arm right there, which is actually really interesting interesting right there he also has his ears his ears do move which is actually really dope and um he's missing one arm so yeah that's pretty much it and um it's pretty cool pretty cool like this so yeah he does have his little speaker right there which i think all of them do have their little speakers but that's just a little interesting detail right there i just wanted to point out and look at them glowing eyes oh my gosh he's seen some stuff so yeah this is Wither bonnie right over here you can also take away the suit head the suit torso uh blah 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 you know the rest but you can also hold on let me just put back on his suit stuff you can also take away the endo or uh the hidden the hidden oh what, wait what the heck what does that actually do i have no idea what it does oh i have no idea what that does hold up i don't know if those are supposed to be like little particles right there i have no idea because it just says endo arm left hidden planes keep hidden i don't know what that's supposed to mean i have no idea but i do know it's pretty cool um we also you can also take away his endo torso and stuff like that so that's pretty cool 
Uh, you can also uh, take away the head spring locks where he would have like little spring locks right there So let's just put that back on yeah He would have like little spring locks out there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's withered Bonnie That's pretty much it. He's, he's just a pretty cool bunny right there I like him so next up we have Wither Chica now I do want to point out one little keen detail about Wither Chica her jaw actually moves that is that is beautiful I actually love this Wither Chica now it's fun moving her little jaw because her jaw is just broken You can also see her wires don't really connect well to her uh, um, her jaw as well so i guess that means it's just broken it just looks like this so yeah i do like this i do like this so yeah oh this is with her cheek right there she's like <laughs> so yeah that's with her cheek right there again also to the little speakers right there she has her little speaker right there that's pretty cool she also has her little arm bars right here so that's also pretty cool and she also has her little let's eat that is really dirty oh my gosh so yeah that's pretty cool that's a really interesting detail right there her little jaw moves i like that that's actually really cool that's what makes widow chica so cool and you can also take take a oh my so you can make her naked or you can just um make her naked again okay or you can just make her naked again okay wow okay wow or just make her nape it naper naper again or suit did your what oh 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 my, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to, um, it's in, let's eat, hooray, so that's Widow Chica right here, hold on, I wanna remove her head for a second, oh wow, that looks pretty cool there, bro. oh my god, she looks pretty cute, next up, we have Withered Foxy, there's really nothing else to say about Withered Foxy, he just looks pretty cool, I like Withered Foxy, look at that hook, it's so big oh my gosh it actually looks really clean oh my gosh look at that hook oh he has little dots on his hook right there that's pretty cool his hook looks is his hook really big i don't know why his hook looks really big i don't know to me it looks very it looks very big i don't know why his hook just looks very big i don't know why he also has this little speaker right there in the back right there so that's pretty cool so uh winter foxy there's really nothing else to say about winter foxy you can also take away the eye patch but there's really nothing else you can say about him pretty cool you can also take away the hook so that's pretty cool so you can take away the hook for winter foxy right here but let's put that put back on that big hook that is actually really big so that's winter foxy right there he's pretty cool you can also move the ears like i said so yeah that's pretty cool i like winter foxy next up we have winter golden freddy over here there's really no difference with this he's just basically he's basically the same as winter freddy i guess the difference is just with the ears but pretty much he's the same you can also move his top hat which is actually really cool so yeah i guess the only difference is the eyes so um he kind of has a little glowing eyes right there oh my gosh what the heck so like when i go inside his eyes are really glowing but it's like a little like invisible wall right here it's like a little invisible wall where it's like his eyes are glowing but it's like you can barely see the glowing eyes that is very weird i'm not gonna lie so you can take away the hat um you can take away that it's it's all the same there's really no difference i guess the oh the transparent that's why because it's transparent his eyes were transparent right there okay okay now that makes sense okay that's why i can barely see his eyes glow okay there, there was a little bit of a transparent thing right there so yeah he's pretty cool he also has the same thing he has a little um he doesn't have it oh no he does have an endo jaw my bad i i guess he didn't have a I guess he has an upper endo jaw. Yeah, can we remove his um head for a second? Uh, let me just do this. Yeah, he has an upper endo jaw, but he doesn't have a lower endo jaw, which is actually really interesting right there to say. So yeah, but what are what are going, Freddy? He's pretty much the same. He's pretty much cool. So yeah. Next up, we have Shadow Bonnie, one of the interesting characters in this pack. I actually like Shadow Bonnie right here. Look at him. Oh my gosh. So I don't know what to say so shadow bonnie it looks like he's like leaking shadows or agony a agony let's say it's agony like he's leaking agony to say i i don't know if i can say like leaking agony it, it is pretty cool because he is a shadow and i don't know if shadows are agony i don't remember the lore as much for shadows but i do know it kind of looks like he's leaking some shadow shadowy liquid or something like that i don't know but he's pretty cool and you know what's interesting about this shadow bonnie he is completely different from from toy bonnie i forgot to put on his mask so let me just put on like toy bonnie's mask for a second and his bow tie so what's different about um toy bonnie and this shadow bonnie is they're just completely different models um toy bonnie just has like a little bit more of like a like a smoother face while this one has like a little bit more of like a like chunky i guess chunky to say chunky face right there so that's actually a little detail right there to well big detail actually to notice he also doesn't have a neck which toy bonnie does have a neck so yeah and his bow tie is completely different compared to this bonnie's where his is more like 
plasticky more shiny while this one is a little bit more like like the other withers right there it's just more wittery and more fa faded out a little bit so that's actually really interesting right there and his ears he doesn't really have an endoskeleton for his ears which is actually really cool it just floats so yeah and he does but he does have some endoskeleton parts for his um for his arms and for his legs and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty cool i like this shadow bonnie his I, 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 uh, so with Shadow Bonnie over here, he does have some body groups where you can take away the bow tie, which looks pretty cool. And you can also make him look normal, where he just has his regular looking, well, he just looks regular. So yeah, so he's not really leaking out um, agony to say, so it look, actually looks pretty cool. So yeah, or if you don't want it to look like that and actually look like an actual shadow, you can actually make him look like Shadow Bonnie, where he just has all the black and all the shadow. So yeah, he looks pretty cool. So yeah, I like the Shadow Bonnie model right here i do i personally like this one this one actually looks pretty cool i like the shadow bonnie a little bit more better honestly compared to the shadow bonnie that we have with like the all black i actually prefer this shadow bonnie that actually looks like he's leaking out like agony or something like that i don't know what you call it i guess remnants i guess i don't know but let's say agony for now i actually like this one he's creepy but he's the good kind of creepy i actually like this model guys we're not even halfway done but first up i want to say we have the stylized blob yes i guess i want to say like a little bit of a rant right here this blob looks a little bit more better than the original blob that we had so if you don't know the original blob that we had was more of like a head and just a bunch of like other heads and other parts of animatronics that's basically it that was basically what the original blob looks like with this blob he does have a little bit more of like arms and stuff like that i have no idea what this arm or hand is supposed to be i know he also has a little hand right there this little green hand right here which actually looks pretty cool i think this is supposed to be like construction stuff right here yeah because i see like a little bit of like a a motor in the back right there so that's pretty cool i did expect the blob uh, let me say this so the original blob i did kind of expect him to have wires don't get me wrong I, I did not i'm not saying i did not expect him to have wires but i was expecting to have him like like arms and like not legs but just like a little bit of like good arms that look a little bit better don't get me wrong i do like the stylized version of this um this blob right here but this arm right here is not doing it my guy don't get me wrong i like the original blob but i rather prefer this one actually i'm not gonna lie so this one actually does look pretty cool he does have like that little um funtime freddy head where it's actually a funtime freddy head because if we go inside oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh that looks so weird he has bloody teeth inside and it's actually like a actual funtime freddy head not like the original blob where he had like a glam rock head which is pretty weird i'm not gonna lie so yeah but with this he does have some body tubes and some skins where the skin you can just actually make his i think those are the irises they they actually do glow which is actually pretty cool i like one thing like his eyes actually completely like glowing but it's actually really good while this eye actually has like a little circle right there which is actually really cool i like that so yeah and he does look a little bit more bloodied up well the eyes look a little bit more bloodied up unless that's rust but i don't know so he does look pretty cool like this i do like him he also does have some body groups like i said where you can take away the back wires you can take away the eye glow you can take away the eyes the eyes the, i mean the the you know what i mean and then that and then this and then let's also take away the mask where he also has this little mask right here which actually looks pretty cool let's take away the teeth for this right here so yeah that actually looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i think his ears also do move right yeah his ears also do move which is actually pretty cool and if you don't want to have any of this stuff you can also take away the boats the oh, oh i thought those were the boats the boats the head wire uh let's take away the arms i want to take away the arms you can also take away the torso which is just all of that then the arms and then the suit arms and then let me just do this and then the hand i meant to take away the hand okay here we go take away the hand and then take away that and then take away the suit and then boom he's just a pile of spaghetti but he's also that that's pretty weird also if you're wondering what he looks like without his suit this is basically what it looks like he just looks like a giant endoskeleton with a bunch of wires that, are that with it that's that's basically it it actually does look pretty cool i like it like this i'm not gonna lie next up we have the fnaf one amalgamation so um it's very weird pretty sure i'm not gonna lie this is a pretty short model but yeah we have a amalgamation of freddy bonnie chica and foxy and also cupcake so yeah i don't know if you can see golden i don't know if golden freddy is here i i don't 
don't know. Maybe Golden Freddy is in here. But all I see is Freddy, Bonnie Chica, and Foxy, and Cupcake. So yeah, that's basically all I see. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool model, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty creepy, I'm not going to lie. The ears do move, which is actually really cool. I like this. Um, Cupcake, well, Cupcake is just chilling right there. So yeah. I like the little addition to the party hat right there. That's actually really cool. <laughs> that, it was like, I want to book spiders when I'm combined with these guys. <gasps> oh, cat. I mean a hat and then he puts on the hat so yeah that's pretty interesting he has a little hat a little green party hat right there that's pretty cool I feel like cupcake is just what the heck cupcake is like cupcake please save me so next up we have Glamrock Bonnet I didn't even notice too but because I didn't play the I didn't play that game so yeah so if you don't know Glamrock Bonnet is actually from Freddy in Space 3 well, technically, it would be like Chica in Space 3, but this is basically Freddy in Space 3, um, Glamrock Bonnet, where I think at the end, I did a little bit of research, I think like in the end of like one of those worlds, I think she appears with like a bunch of other bonnets, and she basically just looks like this, so yeah. So this is basically like uh, an, an, anima an actual um, animatronic version of Bonnet, which actually looks pretty cool. I do like this, this is actually really cool, I like this. And even, she even has a little tail right there, which actually moves, so that's actually pretty cool. She has a little glam rock thing where like I know like I, I can only think of one which is like glam rock I think glam rock Monty glam rock Monty I think Monty he has that little back thing right there it's like a little coin slot I don't know what that is actually but yeah it does like that that so she does have her little uh I think that's a choker I don't know what that is that's a little choker right there she has a little vest she has a little pants she actually looks pretty cool I'm not gonna lie and here's and her ears actually do move so yeah she does have some body groups where you can actually make her eyes glow like that or if you don't want it like that you can make the irises glow like fully or you can make her eye, her poop her pupils glow or you can just make her eye her full eye glow like that which is actually really cool and then also her teeth you can also make her teeth glow like that so that's that's actually really cool and her teeth looking like that so yeah she also has the little endoskeleton in her um mouth so yeah that's pretty cool um uh, she's pretty cool i like i like her i like her i might play freddy in space 3 if you guys want me to play freddy in space 3 let me know so next up we have I forgot her name. So her name is Delilah the Mermaid, which some people were saying that her name was not Delilah the Mermaid. I have no idea, but yeah, this is Delilah the Mermaid. Um, she's from that Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, it was the Tales of the Pizza Plex book. It was um, some mechanopho something with some mechanophobia. I don't remember, but I think I think that was it. I don't remember, but yeah, this is Delilah the Mermaid. Uh, she's pretty cool. Um, let's just take a little peek right there. Nope, she is completely cleared. She is not, she is not, no nude. So if you don't know anything about that book, um, I have no idea because I've never read Tales of the Pizza Pucks book. I have not read a FNAF book, actually. That is completely crazy. If I'm supposed to be a FNAF fan, I'm supposed to be reading these books, but I'm not because I generally don't care about reading. And I'm just going to say that if, if you actually read those books, you're actually a big nerd. Don't, I'm not, I'm sorry. I, that's just the honest truth right there. Ow. So I think she's from a story from like the Foxy rides. I think something with like the Foxy rides. I don't remember exactly. I don't know what else to say. I know that in the book she um she dies. So yeah. So anyway, she does have hair. Her hair does move. So that's actually pretty interesting. And she also has her little um fin ears right there, where they actually do move. So that's actually pretty cool. And another interesting detail is, as you saw, her jaw. Her jaw actually works. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So um. Um, I was gonna say like how how does she work underwater if she's an animatronic? But I do know like in real life too they also have animatronics that do go underwater. I just don't know how Pacific I don't know I don't know the mechanics of how it actually works, but I do know that they actually are underwater animatronics. I can name of a place like Disney World or something like that. That's basically all I can say. So yeah. She does have interesting eyes. Her eyes do actually look interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Her she also does have a tail, which I forgot to mention. Wires are coming out of her tail, which is actually really interesting right there. She also has little fins right there so that's actually pretty cool so yeah that's pretty cool she does have little um stuff that is covering up thank goodness so yeah um so yeah she does have little um little um uh shells i guess you can call it like that i think that's coral right there but she has like little shells right there so that's pretty cool so yeah there's really nothing else to say about that oh she's not cheeked up I like seeing these kind of characters that are actually animatronics in like books because I know too there's like some Fazbear's Fright animatronics like I, I, and Gmod like I think of like Into the Pit, um, Eleanor 
is that is that what's called no no to be beautiful and also count the waste fun time freddy so yeah i know they're also in gmod too also fetch and stuff like that so yeah i know they're in gmod but we never really gotten like tales of the pizza plex and stuff like that we gotta get those models we we need those like book models we need those book characters from like um we just need like a like a big old add-on that has like a bunch of like characters from like Fazbear's Fray and from Tales of the Pizza Tales of the Pizza Plex. I don't know if there's like any other FNAF books. I guess like the Silver Eyes, but that would just technically be like a Freddy with like just those animatronic eyes. So yeah, there's really no difference with those models. But yeah, it would actually be really cool to see those mod from see those um types of characters from the books see them in actual g mod form and actual models but yeah speaking of models from books next up we have rubber trap yes that's right rubber trap but wait he looks like the mimic so yeah this is um i don't really because i never read the books like like i said i never read any of the books i don't really read the fnaf books i'm just like whoa fnaf game me like i'm gonna play it i'm gonna play it like this Woo! I was supposed to shoot myself right there. I do know this is the mimic. I do know that for a fact, but I just don't know per, per, for, for I, don't, I don't know if this is like officially like the mimic, like from back then, because I do know from like the um the mimic short story. So if you don't know, like let's say Into the Pit for example. So like Into the Pit, once you read like uh, like Into the Pit to be beautiful and count the ways, there's like a little story at the end where it gives you like a little story about like a specific character, like um like the mimic or whatever it was called. I think it was like a, it was called like a like an endoskeleton that was like really big and like really tall. After like those stories end, it would give you like a little sequel of like what this animatronic is. This is basically like the mimic where it just like if you don't i do remember one thing about the mimic it was like it it was an old endoskeleton some workers reprogrammed it and they just told to destroy some of those animatronics like take off the arms and heads of those anima old animatronics and then throw them in a pile and then this animatronic would and i think he like haywired or something and then he just like decided attacking humans and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much all i remember from this guy's stories i, I don't really remember i don't i don't pay attention to the fnaf lore like that my bad bro my bad like if i was truly paying attention to the fnaf lore like that i would not i i promise you i would not have a life like that i would my my whole life would just be supporting my friendly fnaf oh fnaf you're my god i support you in every way i will disown my children and kill my family members for you you are my true savior my leard my my, my leard what anyway enough talking about those books let's talk about rubber trap so um also i wanted to say i don't know if, uh, if they confirmed that the mimic was um, burnt trap i don't know but it was implied that it was because of the the different hands that it had with like the mimic and burnt trap so yeah that was pretty much it i don't know if the if they actually confirmed it they probably did it because the creator scott wants to keep things a secret and then at the end he will never tell us so yeah until like his deathbed or something like that that's actually the truth right there so rubber trap is pretty cool he kind of has like a nightmare looking face to him yeah he kind of has like a nightmare except his like teeth are regular he kind of has the nightmare arms the nightmare kind of nightmare legs i'm not gonna lie it's that they're not really sharp is it like spring locks i don't know if those are spring locks i don't know he has a little battery right there that's pretty cool so yeah and he also has the little nightmare claws like i was saying so yeah he's pretty cool looking he also has the little um um ears right there so yeah that's pretty cool he's a pretty cool guy and he also does have a body group where you can also put him on with the suit where he makes him look like burn trap he was like <laughs> i don't know if he talked i don't know so yeah he's pretty cool look at this this guy's pretty cool i like this guy he, he reminds me he reminds me of this rapper guy I'm not gonna lie, he reminds me more of like spring trap than actual burn trap. I'm not gonna wait a second. Okay, I was wondering because he kinda gave me an ignited spring trap. So like Joy of Creation. He kinda gave me like an ignited spring trap version. Where like if you know ignited spring trap, he doesn't have the jaw. Same as um burnt trap. He only has like the flesh mouth right there. And same as like um like right here. Hold up, like like right here, like burnt trap. He he also doesn't have his like upper arms right there. Same as like this boy. Well he only has like one upper arm right there but he doesn't have his lower arms but he does still so yeah but it kind of reminds me of that i'm not gonna lie it it, it actually does burn trap kind of reminds me of like ignited spring trap i'm not gonna lie 
That's pretty crazy. Oh my gosh. He also does have a skin where you can change his color into a regular boil with like red eyes. Is it, is, no, that's orange eyes. They kind of look like red, but those are orange eyes right there. I forgot to mention, he also has a little, a little battery right there, which I don't know if also the Mimic had a little battery right there. I don't know, but he looks pretty cool. The Mimic. So yeah, that was basically Rubber Trap. Let me know if I should do like a, like, like let's say like a live stream one day where I just review like all of the FNAF book lores because I have no idea what the FNAF book lores are. At least some of them I don't really remember. So yeah, especially Tales of the Pizza Plex. So let me know if I should do that one day. So next up, we have the Springs pack right here. So we have like a Spring Freddy, Spring Bonnie, and Spring Foxy right here, which is actually pretty cool. So like I said, we have a Spring Spring Freddy, I mean Spring Fredbear, Spring Bonnie, and Spring Foxy, which is actually pretty cool. So, a little history, a little hint about these guys right here. These guys were originally from the, the workshop from before. They were, but that was like a while back ago, and then they were taken down like, what, 2019, I think? I think 2019 they were taken down, so yeah, I don't remember. I do remember a little, a little, uh, uh, I saw X-Man's video, and I was like, well, these guys look pretty cool, and I saw these guys from a video, so yeah. But I think they were taken down like a while back ago, so now they're just, um, now they're back, but there's not that much, because I know there's supposed to be like a, like a Spring Freddy, a Spring Chica. I think there's supposed to be a Spring Bonnie. I don't know exactly. I don't there's a spring foxy i think there's supposed to be other models i don't know this could be a work in progress mod but for now we only have these three so we have spring fredbear um pretty cool he has blue oh <laughs> i was gonna say he has blue eyes but i was like fredbear does have blue eyes what am i talking about well actually no fredbear usually has the glowing eyes because if you if you know an ultimate custom my um ultimate custom Mike's birthday was also um that week i forgot i forgot i wasn't celebrating that because i did not care about ultimate custom Mike. i am truly sorry about that enough of that we got spring fredbear over here he you can take away his coat you can also take away the eyeglass where he looks extremely shocked and you can also take away the eye glow so you can take away his left eye glow i mean his right eye glow and you can also take away the left eye glow and he also does have a skin where you can just take away the eyes and they just look like that so yeah let's put back on this boyle's coat right here i kind of like the coat like that so yeah you can also put back on the eyes like this where it actually does look like fredbear i'm not gonna lie but yeah he also does have a microphone which is actually pretty cool look at that microphone that's, that's just a boring microphone right there. His ears also do move, so I just wanted to tell you that. So yeah, next up we have Spring Bonnie right here. So Spring Bonnie, he has blue eyes. He's not supposed to have blue eyes. This is not accurate to the FNAF lore. I will be contacting Scott and getting rid of these models. No, I'm just joking. I like these models. So Spring Bonnie over here has glow. You can take away the glows. You can also take away his coat. Uh, whoops, you can take away his coat and you can also take away the eye case. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have have a skin where you just um turn his eyes regular so yeah but he does have his little guitar look at that guitar he's like rock and roll look at this guitar it actually looks really cool especially with the star right there purple breath and finally we have spring foxy over here he looks pretty cool i fun fact i forgot to mention these guys do have some purple stuff to know that it is fred bear because he does have the little purple hat and also spring bonnie because he does have the little purple bow tie right there and also spring foxy because he also has a little purple bow tie right there which is actually really dope so spring foxy over here looks really dope i'm not gonna lie look at them teeth oh my god look at the inside of them teeth hold up if i go inside of them teeth oh my gosh look at them inside of those teeth you can tell these are spring locked animatronics because they have this outer glow right there they also have the little wires right there as you can also tell also a little fun fact about the spring lock animatronics they also have five fingers instead of the regular four like the uh fnaf animatronics so yeah so you can also tell their um spring lock animatronics especially with foxy right here look he he normally has like four fingers but now he has um five fingers so that's pretty cool one extra finger to do some cool stuff so his ears also do move so yeah they look like this which is actually pretty cool so yeah one fun fact is funny is his pants are actually um star shaped like the um spread bear and spring bonnie's coats so um I don't know, it's just Foxy, because you know Foxy, he would usually have the brown pants, and he would usually have like an endoskeleton pants right there, uh, or endoskeleton feet right there, but yeah, he only has the brown pants, which is actually pretty cool, so I like Foxy with the um, purple, purple, um, well, just purple um, stars, I don't know why I forgot the words for a second, so those are purple star pants, they look pretty cool, I like that, look at this, 
um, Spring Fox, he looks really cool. He also has a little hook right here, so that's pretty cool. He does have some body groups where you can also take away the eye glows, and you can just take away his eyebrows. So yeah, but let's put back on those eyebrows because they look actually dope on him, I'm not going to lie. So next up, we have Snow Chica. So wait, you're probably like, who's Snow Chica? Is this just like another custom character that somebody made? Actually, no. So I did a little research too. Snow Chica was actually a fungal pop where they release around Christmas time, which um i'm assuming they just made like a christmas chica that looked like snow and she was just like one of those christmas fnaf models so yeah so i don't think there's other people i don't know if there's like a like a santa freddy or like a gingerbread bonnie or like a reindeer foxy i have no idea all i know is there's like a snow chica which she looks actually like she actually looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie so yeah that's a little interesting fact if you didn't know if you thought like oh it's just a regular a regular snow chica around J june or well it's about to be july but around like july so yeah, um, no, this is actually a Funko Pop. So yeah, I think the Funko Pop didn't have um, legs, but the action figure actually does have legs. So yeah. So there's really nothing much to say about this Snow Chica other than the fact she looks really goofy. I love that Snow Chica came out around June when it, it's June. Christmas was like, what, six to seven weeks, seven months ago? Jeez, I, li I like this though, I'm not gonna lie, I like the model. It's just funny that she came around June, literally around summertime, that's funny. So I like her, I love the fact that too, that her arms are like wood, because, well, her arms are snow, but I like the fact that her endo is actually wood, which is actually really cool, and her little arms, are, or her hands are like um, gloves, which is actually really interesting right there, so yeah, and also she has the little boots right there, and she has the little wooden, <laughs> it's so cute, I like this Chica, I also like the fact that she has coal on her, um, or her, her buttons are coal, I don't know if those are coal or something like that, I don't know, but they could be coal, I like the little scarf that she has, the fun fact is she has green eyebrows, I don't know why. I don't know why the original Funko had green eyebrows. It's pretty weird, but whatever. And she also has like coal eyes or something like that. And I'm assuming her beak is supposed to be like a carrot. Because you know, you always put on a carrot for a snowman. You would put on like little coal stuff. Oh, you can see for her little teeth that she has little coal in her teeth. That's pretty cool. So yeah. And I also like the little hat that she has right there. That's pretty cool. I like this Funko Chica right here. Also, with Snow Chica, you can take away her hat, you can also take away her scarf, or you can also take away her button. So yeah, she basically just looks like that. Oh my god! <laughs> Next up, we have the Premexis. Wait a second. I did a review video on you. So I had to go back and see if this model was still in my um, thingamabob um, or add-ons. He is. So, um, I... I, I Generally 100% I don't see a difference between these two. Well, I see it. I know one is taller than the other. This one is a little bit more shorter while this one's also a little bit more taller. That's basically it. Well, the difference is what this one, um, this one just has his like little belly out, but with the welding to it, you can fix that. But like generally, I don't see a difference between this two, this one and this one. Um, it says something about the textures, but I see that the textures are completely the same. So yeah, what if I turn on the skins? He does have a second skin. Oh yeah, that's a that's a little bit of a problem for that's a problem for me. Also, wait, let me turn this on too. Yeah, that's a problem for me. I have to turn on the what was it the mat base or whatever it was i don't know what it is called where you had to like um where it fixes your textures and then it goes completely back to normal i don't remember what it's called but yeah that's basically my problem so what you're seeing is a little bit of coding right here this is what the coding is supposed to look like but with the purple mixing textures it just gets in the way so yeah but yeah there's really no difference between these two right here this one is just a little bit miss a little bit more smaller which i rather prefer this one a little bit better the only difference is it just has like a weird belly right there but like i said with the welding too it, it's not a problem you could just fix that with an instinct but yeah that's pretty much it i guess the ears and stuff like that the ears are a little bit different but the ears kind of get in the way a little bit when you look at it with the eyes well this one's ears are a little bit more what well, they just look like that and they kind of look a little bit better so yeah so yeah i don't really see a difference between these two let me know which model do you prefer more the short one or the, the taller one i don't see a difference between this one and that one it says something about the textures is supposed to be a little bit more better but they practically look the same so yeah i don't know which one do you think is more better the tall one or the short one i don't know i like the tall one a little bit more better you can just um do the welding too and you can just fix that belly straight up so it's not that hard so yeah oh yeah he also has a little bunny tail i forgot to mention so yeah next up we have spring bonnie 
it's just another spring body that's all i can say the funny thing is this one looks a little bit more like he would actually look like in real life like you can actually tell like the casing it kind of looks like it's like fused together or like um where, where i don't know how you say you know where like you're trying to put metal together that's what it basically looks like to me except like it's fur and metallic and well it's not metal it reminds me of that that's all i can say the casing looks really cool i'm not gonna lie it does it looks like fuzz like to me it looks like a little bit of like a fuzzy feeling to it i don't know why he has a purple bow tie he's pretty much spring bonnie that's it so yeah look at damage damage look cool so he does have some skins wait hold up let me just uh yeah yeah look at them years yeah so he does have some skins and some body groups where so with the skin it makes him look a little more dirtier so like he he hasn't been used in like a few years or something like that and then we also have a bloody up version where you can see an actual handprint so like when like um will and afton was using the spring bonnie suit and then he was just like stabbing a kid and then one of the kids like touched him and then he just like yeah or maybe like william afton he's like taking off the suit and then he just took off his hands first and then he took off the um this torso right here first and that's actually his hand because it looks like an adult hand a, a little bit could be a kid hand i don't know but it looks like an adult hand to me so yeah he also does have a little bit of blood on him so yeah so he was blood on his like um he has mostly blood on his hands that's that's um oh oh my yeah he definitely has blood on oh yeah oh yeah oh lo that's uh that's pretty frightening right there but wait he has another skin where he's basically all spring lock and bloodied up where he looks like this oh my gosh this man has suffered too much pain he's um He's experienced the ketchup factory. This is the results of going to the ketchup, ketchup factory. This is Spring Boyo right over here. Look at this Boyo right here. He still has the little hand, pin, hand print right there. He doesn't have the hand print on his eyeball right there. So yeah, I feel bad for him. Oh yeah. Oh, this is worse. Oh, oh, this is. I, f I feel extremely bad for Spring Bonnie right here. Also, he has body groups where you can take away the suit stuff like this. Dop dop doobity doobs and then do all of that you can basically also take away the endo too if you want to so yeah so if you just want to like make him into a suit you can just take away the endo and you can just keep on the suits and stuff like that so yeah uh spring bonnie over here pretty pretty he he, he suffered next up we have the dream your dream fnaf 4 animatronics i've definitely seen these guys in an animation one time well i know too these are the really 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 old nightmare models that we got at the beginning these are the first ever nightmare models that we ever got so yeah i know that for a fact but i'm pretty sure i've seen this i've seen these guys in an animation specifically him he looks very very familiar very creepy by the way look at this guy this is um this is how nightmare on but his what what is it just cross puppet it's called cross puppet but i'm pretty sure it's nightmare on so yeah um so we have nightmare freddy right over here so so old so weird yeah these guys were originally the first um fun fnaf fnaf 4 models to ever be made because technically these guys are supposed to be a model from the teasers because i know for foxy right here the tongue right here is basically a model from foxy and i think his hook too yeah his hook it reminds me of a little bit of the teaser that we got from fnaf 4 so yeah these guys are, are supposed to be like the fnaf 4 teaser models right here just really super old oh my gosh except for him he's basically kind of new so out of everybody out of the dream your dream pack the most accurate nightmare that actually look similar to the actual games is nightmare freddy because when you compare nightmare freddy he doesn't really have the light brown on his nose but he definitely has a similar model face to um this nightmare freddy right here which is actually really similar freddy is kind of the only one who is actually normal the rest are just a little bit weird bonnie doesn't really look accurate to bon this nightmare bonnie right here chica yeah she does she doesn't look accurate to that chica right there and foxy well he 100% does not look accurate to the to the official foxy right here and i also want to point out that nightmare freddy's eyes are actually kind of the same they're they're a little bit more bright yellow ish but i know it's orange it's kind of like a bright yellow orange color to it but i know also too it's like an orange color right there so nightmare freddy's eye is completely orange um this bo nightmare bonnie's eye is completely different because one eye is actually purple but the other eye is really blue and Bo nightmare bonnie's eyes are actually purple so that's very that's actually very it's funny that he has two different eyes so he has one purple eye and one blue eye which is actually really funny right there and chica her her eyes actually completely on the wrong side so her i think this eye 
this eye right here is actually supposed to be the working eye while that eye is supposed to be the one blind eye because she only has like one eye that is actually working so yeah this was completely wrong but hey it doesn't really matter i mean they are old so i can't really blame them but yeah and also nightmare foxy's eyes completely this one is completely red while that one is also kind of orange but it's also kind of <coughs> also another fact i just realized foxy's hook is on the left side of his hand instead of the right because if you look at nightmare foxy his hook is on the right side of his hand and if we also look at like regular foxy right here his hook is on the right side of his hand but this nightmare this old nightmare foxy right here actually is on the left side that is actually completely crazy i just noticed that then again like i said this was basically from the teaser so i think this is what originally like foxy's hand was supposed to i don't think it was originally supposed to look like but whoever modeled these models back then really got it messed up but hey it doesn't really matter these guys look cool and also cross puppet or nightmare on a cross on a cross um it just looks very creepy because it just says dream 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 all over this nightmare on on his cross and he has a bunch of wires that is just look at these oh my gosh he is like really attached to this it is actually pretty creepy i'm not gonna lie he doesn't really have any body groups all of them don't have any body groups so yeah he is kind of creepy hold on can we just go like right over here i don't know which one is a little bit more creepier this butto right over here or this buddy right over here i have no idea who's more creepier i actually want you to know who's more creepier the stylized puppet or the dream your dream mar marionette right here i have no idea who's creepier but i feel like this guy is more creepier than that guy oh my gosh but it they definitely do kind of tie on the creepy scale right there i also forgot to mention their ears do move so if you're wondering if they're their ears do move yeah they do move so yeah i think chica's hair no chica's hair doesn't really move as much but foxy's ears also do move which is actually really cool i have no idea who's my favorite out of this pack i guess like well i can definitely tell you who's the creepiest but i think i think nightmare freddy because he he's kind of the most accurate looking one i'm not gonna lie he's the most accurate looking nightmare out of all of these guys right here he's the most most looking accurate one right here so yeah and finally we're at the end we finally got the fnaf one gang rag dolls that that's literally it they're just called the fnaf one gang rag dolls right here so we have freddy bonnie chica foxy and golden freddy so wait you're probably thinking these what, what what's so special about these guys well i kind of didn't really notice i thought they were just oh wow just another fnaf one gang but i did notice that some of them do kind of look like from the fnaf movie like their modeling does kind of look like they're from the fnaf movie and i noticed this too so let's look at freddy for example so he, they also do have body groups so if we move like freddy's um um i was gonna say let's say mask for example i was gonna say the suit yeah so if we remove the suit it kind of looks like from the fnaf well besides that music box right there but it kind of reminds me from the fnaf movie a little bit this kind of reminds me of the fnaf movie and i'm assuming these guys are basically modeled after the fnaf one movie ragdolls so yeah these guys do have a, re a little bit of a resemblance from the fnaf one movie counterparts right here so they kind of do look like them not not as much but i know it's kind of based off the models of these guys they kind of do look like that i was just looking at the little models right here and hold on let me remove your ch oh, i can't remove your chest but if i go inside of freddy fazbear's chest it kind of reminds me of that but not really but yeah they just kind of remind me of the fnaf the fnaf the fnaf movie that's basically it that's all i can say so yeah we also have bonnie right over here he also has this little guitar but it also moves on him so yeah i just also wanted to point out a little bit of a reference right there hold on let me see if i can actually take off his uh his his suit uh yeah there we go yeah they kind of have a little music box right there and i have no idea what those are right there but they have a little music box right there which is actually really cool i do like that look at bonnie the bunny hold on does freddy have a skin yeah he does have a skin where it makes his eyes actually glow which actually looks really cool so it actually makes his pupils glow it actually does really look cool i'm not gonna lie and i'm assuming with his skin right here it also makes his eyes look cool that actually looks really cool uh, it actually really does look cool so yeah also with the fnaf one, i just i just want to point out with the fnaf one yeah they kind of have like the red eyes well these guys kind of have the regular eyes to their original pupil color so yeah that looks pretty cool next up we have chica right over here she actually looks pretty cool i do like chica right over here do they have a little voice box they do have a little voice box i just wanted to see if they do and also cupcake right over here so yeah yeah cupcake kind of does look like from the fnaf movie let me just see for a second 
Kind of, but this cupcake has a little bit more of like a bigger head. Well, this cupcake kind of does look similar, but it kind of has like a more smoother head to it. So yeah, it does look pretty cool. Chica right here looks pretty cute right here. Cute. <laughs> cool. Uh, look at Cupcake's eyes. It glows yellow. Also with Chica, it glows purple. So that's pretty cool. And with Foxy right over here. Look at Foxy right over here. He's like, uh, ha ha or fiddly diddly do, do whatever he says. I don't remember. And then look at Foxy right here. He looks pretty cool. Let's see his skin right there. Uh, what, what the heck? Why is Foxy's Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Wait, what the heck? Foxy's eye is yellow, but his cute, when he glows, it's blue. I, I think I just found a bug. I was so confused on why Foxy's eye was blue. I was so confused, but I realized too that if you don't want it to be blue and if you want it to be yellow, then you can actually take the um, color from Cupcake's eyes and then actually put it on Foxy's eyes so it actually looks proper. So instead of having that uh, blue eye, you can make it to yellow. So he has that and then it turns into that. And then voila, you can just use your sub material tool, just take it and then just do that. So yeah, Foxy actually looks like he's glowing. So yeah, they like I said, they also do have some body groups. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You have a fixed suit. Ooh, Foxy has a fixed suit where it actually fixes his whole body. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Oh, but I kind of like the other suit. Hold on. Yeah, I like this one a little bit more better than the Fix suit, but still, Foxy does look cool. And then finally, Golden Freddy. He kind of does look like the one from the FNAF movie, but not as much. And I use this model right here because it kind of reminded me of that. I don't know why. This is like the really, really, really old FNAF. Well, I use this one. This is supposed to be Wooded Freddy, but I have Phantom Freddy, so yeah, I couldn't find Wooded Freddy. But I just wanted to use this as an example. He kind of looks similar to those old models from back then, so yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty weird right there, but yeah. Yeah, um, pretty cool. I like the missing ears. Uh, he doesn't really have any glows. Uh, I mean, skins or whatever. But he does have some body groups where you can remove the mask. Where, oh my. You can also remove the glow eyes. So instead of having the regular glows, you can just have those glows and take it away. And then you can also take away his arm and stuff like that, which just makes him look like an endoskeleton right here. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. He also has his little voice box right there. Uh, is it a little bit dirty? Let me see. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me just take away the torso. And then is it a little bit more dirtier? I think it's a little bit more dirtier. Uh, wait, what? Did, oh, Foxy. Uh, let me see. Also, a little fun fact. I just noticed Foxy doesn't really have a voice box compared to the others. So let me see. Let's see with Freddy. So Freddy, it's a little bit more... I don't know if it's a little bit more dirtier. And I don't know. I think his is a little bit more... I think his endo is a little bit more dirtier compared to the others. Yeah, I, I don't know why. But I think, he's, I think his endoskeleton is a little bit more dirtier compared to the others. Because Freddy does does kind of have like a little bit more cleaner and smooth i mean you can kind of see the rough edges but still it kind of looks a little bit more cleaner while Witter golden freddy right Witter golden freddy oh golden freddy over here kind of has like a dirtier look to him so yeah yeah that's an interesting detail right there i just noticed but yeah that's golden freddy he looks pretty cool hopefully you enjoyed this episode make sure you smack the smack that like button and subscribe and i hope to see you next time because this is all the fnaf revo we re reviewed these guys so yeah <laughs> but we're not done yet so we have one more model which i saved for the end which was really cool it's the miscreation model or what, what was it called it was something called like afton miscreation or something i don't remember it was like called the afton amalgamation or like the the miscreation so yeah let's call it the miscreation so uh, a little bit of history. Well, not really history. So let me just say one thing. This guy was actually in the the um the item shop. Item shop. <laughs> he was in the workshop before in the past, but it was a different model. It was a different model. It wasn't the same model. Unlike this one. This one actually looks a little bit more better and cool because this one's like a like a customized version kind of. But the other one that we got was kind of the official miscreation model that we got before because those are also from the book. So this guy is technically from the Fazbear Fright books. I mean, I don't think we ever got a full description of what we look like. We just got like fan models of what he actually looks like. But um, yeah, this guy is technically from the books. So yeah, he's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess we can call this like the miscreation version too because the original version that we had, also I realized I never really did a review on the miscreation. I, I don't remember, I really don't remember why. I don't know why I never really reviewed. I put him in a video one time, but I don't really remember why I didn't really review this guy in the past. I don't, I don't know why, well not this guy in particular, but the miscreation, I don't remember why, I don't know. But he is pretty cool. I think he's more better than the other one because that, that one was a little bit more, um, was kind of a little bit more heavy and I know I had to 
to use like what the the ragdoll weighted to where i had to like change the weight of the other ragdoll but this one is a little bit more better because you can actually move him a little bit more flimsier he's more better any he, and his ears actually do move a little bit better so like his ears they can actually move he still has the um the 135 um timer on his head so yeah he's pretty cool i like him he's more and look at that he has endo arms bruh and you can see all in you can see all of the stuff right here like fetch for example into the pit spring bonnie i think that's supposed to be like a like a fun time arm or something i have no idea and the min arenas i think that's foxy's thingy right there it's so cool seeing this guy right here he looks super duper interesting cool i like him also chica's bib right there foxy's face we can see more of the min arenas i think that's fun time Fun. that's fun time freddy's face right there so that actually looks pretty cool and we also have chica's face right there i this is a chainsaw oh my gosh the original model never had a chainsaw this is actually cool i like this we have a chainsaw <laughs> one of his fingers is a chainsaw that's crazy we also have Belora's little um um skirt right there which is actually pretty cool and the feet right here look at the feet oh my gosh they actually look pretty cool look at this this is crazy oh my gosh this boy is actually looking good i like this boy right here he's so super duper 100 ultra super duper cool he also does have some body groups and some skins let's go to the skin so you, i mean the body group so you can take away his eye his teeth his jaw his um his ears his torso pelvis right arm left uh, left arm right leg left leg uh, feet and suit hands hold up let me take out the suit and that's basically what you can do for taking away the suits but you can also take away the endoskeleton parts of him so you can take away the endo head the endo oh, whoops i meant to say the endo jaw uh the endo jaws right there he also have secondary jaws the endo arms uh i don't have no idea what that does actually what does the endo arms actually take away um oh it just take away the endo arms right there so he has like any endo arms right there yeah it just takes away those it also takes away the endoskeleton in general uh yeah right there it takes away the endoskeleton right there and it also takes away the hand the endo hand right there and all of this stuff so yeah you can just fool around and just take it off of it you can put him back together and take him apart all over again yeah bro also like i said he does have a skin where you can actually he has multiple skins where you can actually make his eyes glow white or if you don't want it to glow white you can also make them glow uh almost a green oh make them glow red which is actually really cool i like that or if not you can also have him have static eyes so that's actually interesting to see static eyes on him i don't i actually generally don't know if he actually had static eyes in the book because like i said he's basically all the creations or all the agony stuff whatever animatronics that were from the books so like into the pit and fetch for example they were from the books and they just like mushed to be one and it became the miscreation right there or the afton abomination right here so yeah he's pretty cool i like this abomination right there this one i'm not gonna lie this one is more better than the original one that we had in the um, workshop before i'm not gonna lie his ears actually do move he's a little bit more flexible you can actually move him easily and he i think he's a little bit more taller than the original one i think i don't know this one is actually really my favorite i hope please do not take this away from this from the workshop don't actually do this so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review well actually a long review video right here what the heck make sure you adopt that like button and crop field that subscribe button and actually i never said this before let me know which which review out of all of these animatronics which one is actually your favorite i'm not gonna lie this one out of all my favorite this one is mostly my favorite one right here i like this oh he has even has a i'm a lucky boy from that book or, or whatever it was the i'm the lucky boy this boy right here he's he's my favorite animatronic right here out of all everything i reviewed right here he's my favorite next to the blob the blob right over there actually looks pretty cool so yeah like i said crop field that like button and adopt the subscribe button and make sure you join the membership so that way you can actually see behind the scenes of some stuff so yeah and also some an upcoming juicy video on my members which can actually get me canceled if you actually want to do that so uh yeah so you better join the members to see my cancellation right there but anyways hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs> well this was a fun review video right here hey what's that noise what the heck <gasps> <gasps>